first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, his son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. And yeah, we know times get hard, but guess what? We've got to keep what? Pushing forward, okay? Whatever we go through. I want to start in Hebrews 12. And I want to say this as well. You're going to have that. You're going to have wicked, demonic men that don't have the fear of you have a shy, and they're going to go behind closed doors and they're going to put up spells and curses. But again, the Lord set them up to do that. Anyway, let's continue. Let's go to Hebrews 12. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed, right? About with a so great, great cloud of witnesses, right? Those that watch, those that see us, those that hear this word. That's a great cloud of witnesses, okay? Let us lay every side, lay aside every weight, right? And what ways are stand? The scripture says, don't let your sins where you don't and see what doth easily beset us because it's, it's more easily it's more easy to go off in this kingdom right it's much more easier than to what refrain and let us run with patience so within this journey within this what and it's a marathon okay we run with patience okay it's not a hundred meter sprint, but according to your pace. With patience. So the patience, why? Because we're going to what? Suffer in the flesh, even sometimes spiritually. Right? The race that is set before us. So that's exactly what we're doing. Right? The race that is set before us. And on this race, you're going to see somewhat fall to the side, but we've got to keep what going. Verse 2, looking unto the Yahabashai, the author and finisher of our faith. So the author what? Originator, you have an author of a book. Right? So Yahabashai is the author of our faith. Right? He's the beginning of our faith. Nothing else. Right? Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. See, so Habashai, what he endured. Everything he went through, he endured it. Okay? And he was perfect. Despising was shame. So even Habashai, as perfect as he was, he had to despise shame. Right? And it says. And he sat down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High, right? So we were what at that throne, okay? Sit down at the right hand of the throne, right? You see I'm doing this, man. And he sat down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. Right? So yeah, he had to despise shame. Right? By the own wicked of our people. Okay? So, the life Yahushua was living, it wasn't sitting back, comfortable. He was constantly travelling, what? Ministering this word to his elect. Okay? There's only a few men that are really about this truth. The rest are just fakes and phonies. Right? Now we sit at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. Right? 
right hand on that throne, receiving that glory. For consider him that endured such. So you have shall endured such contradiction of sinners. You gotta imagine. Yabashai, look, I'm a bit dehydrated, so like physically. You gotta imagine Yahabashai, he endured contradiction of sinners, because the same men that were bucking up against him, guess what they were? Sinners. So you're gonna have men, they don't even believe. But you gotta enjoy the BS that they do. Right? The lies, right? The sorcery, right? We just gotta enjoy it. Right? And I thought, you know when you're in the world, I thought the world, the world is the world's wicked. But for coming to the truth, nothing can get the truth, because the truth is beautiful. But you're gonna see all kinds in this truth. Right? You thought niggas in the world were bad? You gonna get bigger niggas in the truth. You know, okay? For consider him that endured, put up. You just, certain thing, you just have to put up with it. Can't complain, right? But just know, you brothers that are sincere, Yahweh is gonna fend for you, right? He's gonna plead your cause, right? Against the wicked. And it says, of sinners against himself, lest he be wearied in your mind, right? And we don't want to be what weary in our minds in that mentality, oh no, this ain't fair, no. It is because what we have sinned. And whatever Yahweh brings upon us is worthy. You can't say, well, it's not worthy. I don't deserve this. We deserve everything. But just know this that as much as hell we go through, Yahweh will what? Find a way. Okay? You have not resisted. Right? And to blood striving against sin. Right? So it's a fight. And you have forgotten. Right? And you have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. Right? My son, despise not the chastening, right? Of the Lord Yahweh Abishai. So don't despise it. Right? It's chastening so we can get to where we need to get. And ultimately, so what? You can gain salvation. Right? But this week, <laughs> all right, but all right, the, the spirits are turning up. That's why we got to turn up on the right hand side. Right? As much as the left hand side is turning up, we got to turn up on the right hand side. Right? Pray every day. Right? Don't be a grimy nigga. Don't be a witch and a warlock. Don't be, don't be saying I love you, brother, but behind closed doors, putting up spells. Right? Pray. Right? For the brothers that are sincere, and even for what? Your enemies. Right? And it says, Despise not the chastening of the Lord Yahweh Shai and nor faint when thou have a rebuked of him. So the chastisement comes in what? Many different forms. Could be a video you watched, it could be but an affirmity, a bad knee, a headache, right? Or mental pain. That's chastening. If you're of the elect, that's deemed as what? Chastening. Now I want to go to 2 Peter's, right? 1 Peter 5 and 12 Beloved, think it not strange So you, you don't want to be in that spirit Oh, why is this happening? Wrong spirit you want to be in Right? Think it not strange Concerning The fiery trial So this is what this is A fiery trial So not just a trial Fiery Hot <laughs> heat because these men need to be what 
purified, made acceptable, right? So think it not strange, strange is, oh why, why is this up? Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. When you first come in, of course, it's going to be strange. But after some time, you know why you're going through these things. Don't worry, I gave you another audience. Don't right? worry, I'll bring another audience. Right, right. <laughs> and it says, which happened unto you. But rejoice in it so much as you are partakers of Mashiach's sufferings. So the trust we, we go through is what? Part of what them sufferings. But when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Right? So when Yahushua returns, we can be glad. Right? Joyous. Okay? Because guess what? You're going to have a, what, a story to tell to your offspring in the kingdom. I went through this. Right? I went through this, I went through that. Okay. And you came on the other side victorious. That's why. Okay. Can you imagine if you had just no story to tell? Well, what good would it be? The elect were going to have a, a story to tell. Okay. But rejoice in so much as you are partakes of much like suffering. That when his glory shall be revealed, you shall be glad also with exceeding joy. Right? And I want to say this as well. Through the trials we go through, you can't forget, okay, about the good stuff Yahweh has done. Shall we not receive good and evil from Yahweh? But again, example, you can't forget weeks prior, couple days prior, Yahweh may have showed you a chariot. Okay? Several. Okay? And he may have showed you other things, signs, 444s. Four, four, four. So you can't, when a bit of hard times come, you can't say, well, you've got to remember the good things the Alshai has done as well. Right? Remember, this is all, it's all balance. Right? This is all a balance. Yahweh Shai deals with balance. All right? A false balance is what? An abomination unto Yahweh Shai. So everything in our lives, you have to show what? Balances us out. Alright? That's what he does. He balances us out. Okay? And it says rejoice in that you are partakers of his sufferings. Because not everyone is a partaker in Yahushua's sufferings. So rejoice. And um, to tell you the truth, I'm, yeah, I'm fed up with this place. I'm fed up with his kingdom. Right? And I don't I don't remember the last time I, I haven't done a video. You know? You get fed up with this place, but you can't get to the point where you don't want to push. You still want to push, you just get fed up with this kingdom. <laughs> okay? Something that I could do with a drink. I don't remember the last time I had a nice um beverage of alcohol. Okay, but you can't do that to get away from you know the situation. But sometimes, you know, sometimes you just need to sit down and but it's take the time for our rest. But let me let the scripts come out, I'm talking too much. Now when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. If you be reproached for the name of Mashiach, happy are ye. Right? So that's gonna happen not to everyone that knows him in Israelite, excuse me. Right? It's gonna happen to those that are of the elect. They were gonna be reproached. For Yahweh shall I say, not everyone, right? So happy if you be reproached for the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, for the spirit of glory and the Most High resteth, right, upon you. So he's got you got to understand, but you going through these things, his glory is upon you. What's glory? Excellence, majesty, his spirit. Right? These are the necessary things we have to go through. Okay? I don't care if I'm out here. I don't care if I look like a fool to the people. Right? The scripture says we are fools for Mashiach's sake all day long. Because some people they might think, well, what's he doing just standing out there? Is he speaking? No. 
Whoever needs to hear, whoever's got ears to hear, they're going to hear and they're going to receive this word. Happy are ye for the spirit of glory of the Most High rest upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of. But on your part, he is glorified. So, yeah, on their part, he is evil spoken of. Scoffers, those that have in the world, of course, they're going to speak evil of the truth. They're going to speak evil of his men. Go to Isaiah. Oh man. Oh. Hey, this is why we this is why it says we need them new hearts and new minds because we're forgetful. I just wanted to go to a scripture in Isaiah and I forgot what scripture it was. That's why Yahshua says, I will put a new heart within you. Right? Oh that's it, Isaiah 59. That's why we're gonna receive them new hearts. Isaiah 59 and 13 in transgression and lying against the Lord Yahweh of Shai right and departing away from our power through what idolatry speaking of oppression and revolt remember because you had kings that were doing that repressing the people our own kings conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood so false prophets they were going to utter Falsehoods, lies, deception. This is what this kingdom is built upon deception. For this kingdom, for need to continue, you need to what? Practice deception. Right? And it says, judgment is turned away backwards. Okay? And justice standing for far off. So within this kingdom, yeah, judgment. It's not, it's not true judgment, it's corrupt, because the corrupt have in what power? Right? So, of course, if the corrupt are in power, things ain't going to go the way it should. According to what the law of Yahweh are saying. Right? The judgment is turned away backward, because those in high places, they're able to what? Make just a few phone calls. Right? And say, no, 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 would you cover this? And the rich. Look at the rich people of this world. Look at the elites. They're doing all types of crimes. They, they don't get caught. Well, it's not that they don't get caught. They got the money. They're above, they're above the law. Okay? And this is the elites we're talking about. Okay? This thing, this thing is real. And it says, and what? For truth is fallen in the street. So within this kingdom, remember, this is not a kingdom of truth, it's a kingdom of life. So, yeah, the truth is going to be established, but Esau doesn't want it to be established. Why? Because his kingdom is built of lies. And that's why what? It needs to go down. And equity cannot enter, right? So, true equity cannot enter in right through fairness and proverbs it tells you that solomon what equity wisdom and so forth but this kingdom don't have that why because it's corrupt and it says yeah true fairness so yes the truth fails in this kingdom right and he that departed from evil right so brothers when you depart from evil make of himself a prey so yes when you depart from evil right and of course it's, it's a process right that ain't gonna be done overnight but when you start him guess what then demon the spiritual demon Satan sees that and is what frustrated because the last thing the spiritual demon Satan wants is for us to repent. So guess what? Them spirits, they see that and they're displeased. Yeah. Their spirits don't like that. Okay. And even individuals in the world you may have knew, they don't like that. Because you're a reflection of what they're not. They 
they couldn't change. They never had no backbone. Right? Yeah, true fellow, and he that departed from evil making himself a prey. Right? So you're departing. Now, yes, of course, you're, you're made a prey to those that have not repented, that have not removed themselves from the ways of this world. You become that prey to the wicked. And that's why the scripture says in Matthew 10 and 16, Behold, I send you forth as what? Sheep amongst wolves. Right? Because you are prey to the wolves. Sheep are prey to wolves. But this is what happens when you depart from evil. And you wake up to this truth. That's the price of gaining Yahweh Shai. Therefore, there, ha there has to be some type of form. There has to be some type of form ad ad of adversity, some type of form. Whether it does by your work colleagues, your family, scoffers in the world, people you used to know. There has to be. Okay, because the Lord deals with what perfect balance. And the Lord Jehovah Shai saw of it and it displeases. This displeases this, 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 this Yahweh Shai. He's angry at this. This is my servant. He's departing from wickedness. Now what he's made a prey to those that haven't. That's what happens. That's why you've got to be able to what, walk this walk. Right? And when no one's around, you've got to be able to walk this walk. Right? And you put in that effort. Okay? And there was no judgment. Why? Because in this kingdom, the wicked are in them high seats. Right? So true, true judgment never really goes out. Okay? But I want to stay on this topic. Because it's much needed. So now we're going to go to the Apocrypha. Because this is about applying the scriptures. I don't just bring out scriptures for no reason. Applying. Right? In any given situation. Ecclesiastes chapter 2. My son, if, right, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh one of my favorites. Why? Because it's very straight to the point. It lets you know what you're coming, what, what you're gonna what you're gonna go through. Right? My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation. So, alright, you're a servant, right? For your Habashai. So you better prepare your soul, your spirit, for temptation. Okay? And constant temptation. You're gonna go for up to you're gonna go for all types of things. Right? Various types of things. Right? And I can't, I can't tell you everything because everybody's got a different journey, right? But you're definitely going to go through things, okay? Prepare, so you, you're setting your mind, right? This is prepare that soul, so you're setting your mind, right? You're preparing your mind, all right, I may go through this, I may go through that. You're not bugging out. But you're preparing your mind for the things that can what befall us. Your family can switch up any time. Men in the truth can switch up any time. So you got to prepare for anything. Your leaders could sell out <laughs> to Satan. So you got to prepare yourself for every single scenario. Someone at your labour room could fall out, right? Your woman could leave you. You could be homeless. Prepare yourself for every single situation, right? And as much as you may prepare, you still don't know until it's there, right? Set that heart alright, your mind alright, right? Focus yourself, okay? And constantly endure, that's why it's a beautiful... These scriptures bring comfort. It says constantly endure, right? So you're going to be constantly enduring what? What would you need to endure? Adverse, adversity. Constantly, don't stop, right? Constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble, right? Don't just flee. Oh no, I never, don't mean that spirit. I never signed up for this. 
right? Make not haste in the time of trouble, right? You're, you're, you know when you make haste? When you're panicking. That's when you make haste. But when you're sound in your Abishai, you're not going to make haste. Because the scriptures told us of these things, right? Cleave unto him, so that's just an opportunity to cleave more unto your Habashai. Right? It's just a more of an opportunity. Alright? Cleave unto him well, constantly. And a lot of men can't do this. That's why they try to um, cleave unto another man's spirit. And you could do that, but only for so long. Until you until others see you don't really you don't really have it. You were just faking. You were just faking the fun, right? Because man, they try, you got leeching, demonic leeching spirits in this truth. They try to leech onto others, right? <laughs> but your time, if you're not right, your time, your time is running out. You can't do that all the time, right? You have to be strong when you're by yourself, right? You got that, you got spiritual leeches in this truth. They try to feed off other brother's spirit. Think they can go behind closed doors with their spells, go, ah, with their spells. The Lord's going to destroy a lot of grimy ass niggas in this truth. Right? But the time will tell, the scripture says, then thou shalt be known, who am I chosen? Okay, the things, that, the things that men do, right? Just because they see other men growing in the spirit. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 2. And John the verse. Where was we? Where was we? Verse 4. 3. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at the last end. And again, you learn that through all these different things we go through. If you if you don't make haste, that's when you're increased at the end. Alright? That increasement comes at the end. Okay. At the end of it, you see what that better fruit. Okay. And it says, "Bear just a minute. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully." So, scripture very straight to the point. It doesn't mean you have to have the biggest smile on your face. In mind, you're taking it cheerfully, because you understand. When you don't understand something, you're going to have, um, you're going to be very pessimistic about it, right? And a lot of people in this world, they have a very um, negative mind, mind state on what they go through, right? You can't be that way. And I had to get out of that spirit, and that's spiritual. Why does your house put us through things? Because you may have been um, mentally, in the world, you may have been very mentally weak, soft. So what did your house have to do? Well... My servant, he's a bit, he's a bit effeminate, he's a bit soft. I'm gonna have to toughen him up spiritually. So this is why the Abishai does these things, right? So we can be what more mentally sound and acceptable in your Abishai's sight. Okay. And it says, take cheerfully and be patient when I change to a low estate. So again. You don't want to, the, the last thing you want to be doing is looking at another brother and saying, excuse me. The last thing you want to be doing is looking at another brother and saying, oh, why, hold on, he was, he was in a very, very good mood a couple days ago. Why is he like, because the Lord has brought him down to a lower state. Okay. That's why. Because Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, has brought that man down to a lower state, right? Not, not forever, <laughs> for a particular point of time. Why? Because Yahabashai knows what we need to get rid of. All right? You might not see what Yahabashai sees. Okay? So all these things are needful. Okay? Very needful. Okay? Don't look at it in a negative light. And it says, 
and be patient when I change to a lower state. That's not what that long suffering. Everybody wants an easily, what, a, what, a ready made meal. Nah, it, this takes time, right? Perfection is a process. So we're going through that process of perfection right now. For gold is tried in the fire. So that's, what, that's what's happening. We're just being tried in that fire, right? I can't speak for all. Unacceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we're in that furnace of adversity. Furnace. So when you're heating up gold, what are you doing? You're putting it in that furnace and what you're beating it, right? You're knocking them, beating it hard. You're putting it on that vice, you're beating it. You're welding it. You're sm smelting it down. So that's what you have just doing with these men, right? If you want that good gold or good silver, that's what you have to do. Okay? That's what's required. Okay? So it says, and men in the furnace have adversity. So men, what, what makes a man? Adversity. Right? And it says, believe in him. So continue to believe in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, right? Believe in him and he will help thee. So you, be you believe Yahweh Shai, right? So what? It's going to help you, right? Has he not done that? Has he not made sure you, what, you, you got to um, the camp safe and got back safe? So every day, Yahweh Shai is looking after these men. Every single day, right? <laughs> Hey, just a minute. Hey. Nah, it's shit. Baby, just a minute. And it says, Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. So when it says order your way aright, you're ordering what your mind aright, making your what? Mind single. And it says, and he will help thee. So we've got to continue to have faith. And whatever situation we're in, Yahushua has got a way to what? Make sure what you're okay. Right? And it says, and your rewards shall not fail. So the reward of the elect is not going to fail. Right? It's not going to fail. They're going to get that reward. Right? And it says, ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Because you're doing what you're doing what your way actually says, right? So hope for good and mercy. <laughs> Okay. Look at the generations of old. Right? Look at all the generations of old. All our forefathers. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Look at their stories. Job. I was reading the book of Job. But you've got to read that book of Job. Right? And all the things that Job went through. Right? Job lost his family. He lost his cattle. So the prophet Job, he lost all these things. But he was still able to what? Maintain. Right? And it says, look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord Jehovah Shai? And was confounded. The answer is no. Or did abide in his fear? And was forsaken. The answer is no. So you abiding in the fear of Jehovah Shai? How are you going to be forsaken if you're abiding in his fear? The world may forsake you, but your Habashai won't. Right? Or oh, whom did you ever despise that called upon him? So another thing, what does that mean? You call upon your Habashai. Right? Pray. Right? And this goes for myself as well. For the Lord is full of compassion, mercy, long suffering, very pitiful, and forgiveness sins in the time of affliction. Right? So this is what we gotta remember. Right? But for the Lord is what hold on a minute. A save for the time of affliction. And what what? In them affliction in them, in them afflicted times. In serious times. So what do we do? Cleave unto your house shy. Go to the Ephesians. Right? The blueprint has already been set. Right? Everything we need to do 
It's already been set out. Go to Ephesians. And Corinthians as well. Let's see if I can find it. Right, it's all been set out. Okay, this journey. Alright. See if I can find it. Where was it? Where was it? I know it's something in Corinthians. Yes, got that right there. Hold on just a minute. Go to Ephesians. Because these leaders of, of yours, they're not, they're not really, most, they're not living the life of Yahweh or Shai, or them prophets, right? Those that call themselves apostles, right? And the scripture says that in Corinthians, but are not, but are deceitful workers, right? The apostles, they were living the life of the apostles, okay? And they were under Yahweh Shai's authority, all right? Go to Ephesians. Go to actually go to James. And James, the servant of the Most High, the Lord Yahushua Mashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, and that shows you yes, our people are scattered. Excuse me, within these different nations. Right? And it says, my brethren, right, who are the brethren? Israelites, right? Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, right? So when you fall into what? Many different temptations. Count it joy, right? Again, that word joy. Don't, don't be that spirit. Oh no! Why me? Don't be in that spirit. Because if you have that spirit, then you have to just look at it as well. Why should I continue dealing with you if you can't take my, my chastisement? Okay. Better be spiritual about this. Right? My book, Cat will when you fall into diverse temptations. Many, not some, many. Right? Knowing that this, the trial of your faith, work with patience. So it's a trial of one's faith. All right, you've prayed for faith, you've asked for faith. So, yeah, you have faith, right? So the faith needs to be tried to see where we are within this truth. Okay. That's two undercover, that's two undercover cars that I went past now. Okay. But it says, yeah, so what? Your, our faith come up, be proved, be tried. All right? So you say you have faith, so Yahusha, what? Puts that faith to the test. And he knows the limits of your faith as well, how far it goes. Okay. And it says, knowing it's the tread of your faith, work with patience. That's what it's supposed to work. Right? Patience. Right? Not how we want things to go. Patience. See, when it works patience, you learn well. It's not on my time. It's on Yahweh's time. Right? Because he knows what he's doing. Uh -huh. Time is of the essence. <laughs> okay. As they say, time is of the essence, right? Bear me just a minute. Knowing it's the trend of your faith working patience, but let patience have a perfect work. A lot of our people don't do that. They don't let patience have a perfect work. That patience, that's your house working upon you. So James was saying, yes, with patience. With the sufferings, with the trials, you gotta let them trials have its work. Okay. You can't go for you can't go for them trials, them oh no no, no dipping out, no. Let them trials have a perfect work. Right? Because your harbor shot knows what he's doing. Right? Because you can't doubt. The purifying process, because Yahushua knows what he's doing.
But she may be perfect, entire, and wanting nothing. Because ultimately, this is what this truth.